Welcome as Dean of the Don B. Huntley College of Agriculture. And on behalf of the staff and faculty, we welcome you today to this special event. Today, we recognize and honor the accomplishments of our graduates. The Huntley College of Agriculture graduates are passionate and hardworking, and it has been a pleasure to know them. Thank you to the supportive faculty and staff who have nurtured these students, and thank you to their caring families and friends for their support during this academic journey. Together, we celebrate the next generation of leaders in plant science, animal and veterinary science, nutrition and food science, agricultural business and science, and apparel merchandising and management. Our college motto is growing the future. I look forward to your futures. I know you will grow the world to be a better place, a world that promotes well-being for all. I also know you will grow yourselves and continue to learn. Enjoy today as it is the beginning of the next chapter of your life. Congratulations to each of you. Now I would like to call on President Coley for her welcome and introductory remarks. Thank you. On behalf of the entire Cal Poly Pomona community, the faculty, staff, your fellow students, alumni, and supporters, it is my honor to welcome you to commencement and congratulate you on this life-changing accomplishment. It is no small thing to earn a college degree. It takes perseverance and a sense of purpose. But what you have accomplished is indeed even more. To reach this goal under uniquely challenging circumstances demonstrates a level of commitment and resilience that will remain with you long after today. Your strength in the face of adversity now becomes part of the bedrock that will sustain you for the rest of your life. And as you reflect on this achievement, I hope you will take time to consider all those who helped you get here. Your family, friends, faculty, coaches, staff, counselors, mentors, and others. Truly, our community of learners extends far beyond our campus. I congratulate you all on being part of this occasion we celebrate today. There are also people you might not know, including alumni and friends of the university whose support helped make your education possible. The best way to thank them is to pay it forward by helping others achieve their dreams. Likewise, I encourage you to stay close to your alma mater by becoming a part of your alumni association. You can also pay it forward by continuing to be a voice with our legislators and state leaders about the benefits for individuals, families, communities, and the entire state when we choose to invest in higher education. Likewise, at work and in your communities, you will be able to describe and demonstrate the transformative power of a college education. You will be the source of inspiration, advice, and encouragement. And as we celebrate this commencement, my hope is that you will carry the joy you feel today into the world of work or into furthering your education. And as lifelong learners, you will continue to exemplify the three ideals in our university seal, creativity, discovery, and innovation. 
Commencement is a beginning, not an end. It is the doorway to the next phase of your lives. May you do so with confidence, knowing that your experience at Cal Poly Pomona, a prestigious institution of higher learning and the model for an inclusive polytechnic university, will always be there as both motivation and as a guide. Your success here is only a harbinger of what you will achieve going forward. Again, congratulations, and I wish you good health and happiness. It is now my honor to present the Julian A. McPhee Award for Student Excellence. Julian McPhee was the founding president of Cal Poly Pomona and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Because of his visionary leadership, California is the proud home of two of the nation's finest universities, founded on the educational principle of learn by doing. This award honors a graduate who exhibits academic excellence. Our 2020 Julian McPhee recipient is Courtney Walsh. She graduated as an animal science major with a 4.0 GPA. She works as an animal care technician at the city of Moreno Valley's animal shelter. Congratulations, Courtney! It is also my pleasure to announce our 2021 Julian McPhee recipient, Brianne Carey. She graduated as an animal science major with a 4.0 GPA. This fall, she enters the University of Edinburgh Royal School of Veterinary Studies. Congratulations, Brianne. <laughs> Guests and graduates, Please welcome our awardees, Courtney and Brianne, to say a few words. Welcome everyone. I'm Courtney and it's my pleasure as the 2020 McPhee Scholar for the College of Agriculture to offer the class of 2020 my heartiest congratulations for everything they've achieved. I think that the last year has left many of us feeling adrift in a radically changing world, and so I wanted to take this time that I'm lucky enough to have with all of you to offer a reminder. Though the world is different now, and you may be different too, you've done something momentous that will stay with you for the rest of your life. You were not rudderless. No matter how the wind might change, the skills that you learned and the connections that you made during your time here will remain to act as anchor and guiding light as you move into tomorrow. So long as you hold fast, you'll find your way even if time and perspective come to show that where you landed is different than the place that you expected to be. With all that said, again, congratulations and good luck in all your future endeavors. I'll be rooting for all of you. I wanted to congratulate each and every one of you. Not only did we manage to overcome endless exams and term papers, but we did so during one of the most tumultuous and hectic times in history. We have proven time and time again that we are resilient. We can adapt quickly, and we are more than capable of doing what we set our minds to. Throughout our lives as students, we were always told that we were the future. And now, as college graduates, we are officially the present. But with this designation comes responsibilities. As College of Agriculture graduates, our future careers will directly impact the health of the planet and the species within it. We are not entering a perfect world. We are facing global climate change, mass eutrophication, species extinction, deforestation, oceans with nearly more plastic than fish, and the list just goes on. This world is no longer someone else's responsibility. It is ours now. So, as we each depart from Cal Poly and carve our own path in this world, I hope you all remember that we do have the power and the choice to make this world a better place. Brianne and Courtney.
We are now pleased to hear from the Honorable Karen Ross, Secretary of the California Department of Food and Agriculture, who has been invited to provide the Huntley College of Agriculture's commencement address. She was reappointed to this position in January 2019 with leadership experience in agricultural issues nationally, internationally, and here in California, including environmental stewardship, climate change adaptation, and trade. It is my honor to introduce the Honorable Karen Ross. Congratulations, graduates. It's such an honor to be a part of your transition to becoming graduates and going into the world with all of its possibilities. I am so proud to know so many graduates of Cal Poly Pomona, the College of Agriculture, which provides one of the best academic experiences on the West Coast. But what's really important about coming from Cal Poly Pomona is that learn by doing experience. There is nothing better to prepare you for the challenges and the opportunities facing us in the world today. It's not just here in California where we need your brains, your talent, your energy, your enthusiasm. It's across the globe because we all as humans face some of the biggest challenges of a lifetime, maybe in decades and decades. One is the need to feed a fast growing population, but not just feed them with calories, to nourish them to achieve their full potential and to live healthier lifestyles throughout every decade of their lives. It's the need to do this with less arable land and less available potable water. That's not just a challenge for California, it's a challenge for the globe. It's a challenge to be able to think about our environmental stewardship so that we're growing more food, more efficiently with the smallest environmental footprint possible. And it is a challenge to do all of this in climate change. And that's unlocking so many possibilities. As we move through climate smart agriculture to meet this human demand for food and nourishment, we're doing it and nourishing the earth, taking care of our soils, drawing down carbon. You can be a climate warrior if you're a graduate from Cal Poly Pomona. You can be the person who helps us figure out what is necessary to restore the health of biodiversity and our very important pollinators. You can be the ag tech wizard of the day that's figured out the robotics and the sensor technology that's available to every farmer of every size, of every language. There are so many possibilities in the world of food sciences and the ideas that we're facing today in a circular economy whether it's the packaging of our food or the plastics we've been using, how can we replace those with bio-based, plant-based alternatives? Yes, the world of possibilities, the world of opportunities for graduates from Cal Poly Pomona are unlimited. My only advice to you is to find what you love. Know what that is about. Have confidence that your academic counselors, the administration, the professors, your families have faith in you. They've invested in you. They believe in you. I believe in you. Go out, find your passion. I hope that you will serve agriculture with joy in your hearts and gratitude every day for the experiences that you've had. And I know that the world is in a better place because you are going to be leading the changes that we all face together. Congratulations, graduate. I'm excited to watch your journey. Congratulations, graduates. It's such an honor to be- Thank you to our speaker, to the Honorable Karen Ross. Now please join us at a previously recorded event with our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Sylvia Alva, where we honor Provost Awardee in Excellence in Teaching, Joanne Sohn 
associate professor who joined the Animal Sci Veterinary Sciences Department in 2014. With the generous support of President Coley, the university continues to recognize the accomplishments of our faculty with the Provost Awards for Excellence. These awards are given in the areas of teaching, service, and scholarly and creative activities. They acknowledge the central role of the faculty in making Cal Poly Pomona the superb place of teaching, service, and scholarship that it is. Awardees are chosen in a rigorous process and must meet the very highest standards of excellence in their fields. It is with great pleasure for me to announce that the 2020 21 Provost Award for Excellence in Teaching goes to Joanne Sohn, Associate Professor of Animal and Veterinary Sciences in the Huntley College of Agriculture. Joanne Sohn joined the Animal and Veterinary Sciences Department in 2014. She is the Director of the Animal Health Sciences Program and has worked as a licensed veterinarian for over 20 years. To advance our experiential learning tradition, Dr. Sohn has developed multiple hands-on opportunities to help students solidify their academic knowledge, including the semi-annual Spa Day Vaccine Clinic. She has a passion for international travel and has taken her students on academic field trips to Thailand, and South Africa. A result of her numerous grants, the ongoing veterinary teaching lab is equipped with some of the most up-to-date equipment and technology. She received the College of Agriculture Teacher of the Year Award in 2016. It is an honor and privilege to now introduce to you the 2020-21 Provost Award winner for Excellence in Teaching, Dr. Joanne Sohn. Thank you, Provost Alva, for this incredible honor. It has been my honor and privilege to work with the most amazing staff, faculty, and of course, students on this campus. I promise that I will work every day to deserve the honor that I'm receiving today. Thank you. Now, we transition to the reason we are all here, our graduates and the conferral of their degrees. While our ceremony may only be an hour in length, the dedication and perseverance our graduates have shown to achieve this accomplishment is measured in years. The honor we are about to bestow upon you is one you should hold with pride, as a degree is earned and not given. And though some of the pomp and circumstance of our ceremonies may be missing, none of what you have earned lacks any luster. If anything, your achievements shine even brighter as you have come out the other side of this pandemic. Please welcome our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Sylvia Alva, who will present our candidates. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise if able. President Coley, I present to you the candidates for the degrees of Master of Science in Agricultural Science, the Master of Science in Animal Science, the Master of Science in Nutrition and Food Science, and the Master of Science in Plant Science. These candidates have completed the requirements for the master's degree prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University. And they have been recommended by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. President Coley. Candidates for the master's degrees 
You have heard the recommendation of the faculty of the Don B. Huntley College of Agriculture, California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you degrees of Master of Science in Agricultural Science, Master of Science in Animal Science, Master of Science in Nutrition and Food Science, and Master of Science in Plant Science, with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. When a master's degree is conferred, the scholar joins a select few who've earned a master's hood. This hood represents your accomplishments, expertise, and scholarship. Wear it with pride as it has been well earned. Congratulations. And now will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise if able. President Coley, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and Food Industry Management, Agricultural Science, Animal Health Science, Animal Science, Apparel, Merchandise, and Management, Nutrition, Food Science and Technology, and Plant Science. These candidates have completed the requirements for their respective degrees as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of California State University. They have been recommended for their degree by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. President Coley. Candidates for the baccalaureate degrees, you have heard the recommendation of the faculty of the Don B. Huntley College of Agriculture of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and Food Industry Management, Agricultural Science, Animal Health Science, Animal Science, Apparel Merchandise and Management, Nutrition, Food Science and Technology, and Plant Science, with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Now, in academic tradition, the student who has not yet earned a degree wears the mortarboard tassel on the right side. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left and joins a select company. In recognition of your new status, will each recipient of the baccalaureate degree please move your tassel to the left. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, please stay within the space next to your vehicle. Graduates and graduates only, please follow directions from commencement staff. You'll be released to the stage individually by aisle. Please follow staff directions and congratulations, graduates. Jalen Brianne Lopez. Jose Antonio Huerta. Myra Reynaga Valle. Andrea Anaí Vasquez. Sarah Abigail Lopez. Franciela S. Garcia. Unique Cortez Rios. Melissa Espinosa. Adam Torigata Lund. 
Isabella Muniz Olivero, cum laude. Salma Alexandra Ramirez, cum laude. Eric Archuleta. Suzanne Summer Chiavalotti. Jennifer Lee Gonzalez. Jonathan Miranda Campo. Sochi Robles Villasenor. Victoria Elizabeth Sherman. Bianca Cassandra Hernandez. Dylan William Clawitter. Elizabeth Irene Wolf, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Kiona Suaco Capillaro. Jacqueline Lan. Nathalie Alyssa Mendez. Michelle Sanchez, magna cum laude. Vanessa Felix. Chloe Ann Gutierrez. Claire Renee Choquette. Caroline Margaret Lovett. Hannah Teresa Jung, cum laude, Kellogg Honors College. Christian Alexis Ortega. Dana Alexandria Yokoto. Leobardo Sebastian Escalante, cum laude. Vanessa Catherine Munder, cum laude. Julia Elizabeth Feldman, cum laude. Leticia Natalie Vargas. Erica M. Glow. Genesis Renee Laura. Deanne R. Glow. Matas Bicaris, cum laude. Jeffrey Nadal Somera. Nicholas Rogers. Riza Michelle Somjit. Casey Lynn Harvey, cum laude. Emily Lauren Dunham, summa cum laude. Leslie Della Camara. Shelby Renee Roche, magna cum laude. Kesman Edward Stevens. Roberta Misaela Solis. Miranda Lupe Gardia, magna cum laude. Kinsey Lee Stein. Melissa Abigail Dubon. Kehlani Joy Apostol Lujan. Stephen Lars Degler. Vienna Gabriella Ortega. Maria Auxiliadora Lugo.
Teresa Carol Meza, magna cum laude. Rachel Leanne Cipolloni. Chloe Hannah Foster, summa cum laude. Courtney Nicole Davila, summa cum laude. Courtney Batlin Dizon. Jocelyn Kinjo, summa cum laude. Lena Lopez. Diana Arellano. Liliana H. Diaz. Danielle P. Nagtalon. Oscar Martin Ortega Roldan. Alicia Renee Romero. Nicole Lynn Mejia. Rachel Strohacker, cum laude. Alicia Maria Pinto. Candace Cassandra Taylor. Brittany Chansoseta Park, magna cum laude. Rosalie Vasquez. Ariel Angelique Perez. Rachel Marie Knight Christensen, magna cum laude. Carlos Cesar Guerrero. Courtney Rebecca Welch, summa cum laude. Veronica Gutierrez. Jillian Shane Anton, magna cum laude. Anna Elizabeth Lucas Zimmer, cum laude. Hannah Lee West. Claudia Cruz Torres. Lorica Ada Wong, cum laude. Brendan Owen Jarrett, magna cum laude. Stephanie B. Lopez. Elias Preciado. Evelyn Winyuangse. Devin Janae Payne. Richard Lee Ogin. Jia Yu Kuang, magna cum laude. Imelda Carion. Chi Ting Ma, cum laude. Emily Celine Lara. Yu Ji. Ashley Elizabeth Nelson, magna cum laude. Rachel Lee Horovitz, magna cum laude. Sky Regina Delgado. Christina Ohanasian, magna cum laude. Lilibeth Gonzalez. Idalia Margarita Rodriguez. Candy Thi Tran.
And last but not least, Elizabeth Lucille Buchanan. One last more, Joy Youssef. At this time, we will be concluding our ceremony. So we ask everyone to please return next to their vehicle. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you to those who organized this event. I also want to thank the students for allowing the faculty and staff and myself to be part of the journey you have made. Graduations can be bittersweet. It's hard to leave something familiar and start a new beginning. However, this past year has demonstrated how resilient our students are. I have no doubt that you have the determination and ability to be successful. Remember to be confident. You came to us as humble and passionate people and you leave with those same wonderful traits, but now you have learned technical skills, teamwork, and knowledge. I wish you fulfilling jobs that bring you the satisfaction and sense of accomplishment that comes from touching the lives of others. Please keep in touch. I wish you good health and all that you dream of. Congratulations to the class of 2020-2021. As we conclude, I ask all of the graduates to give one more big cheer and please enjoy a final congratulations from our, our entire Cal Poly Pomona community. With all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto, congratulations. Congratulations, Cal Poly Pomona graduates. We did it. We did it. You did it. You are now alumni. Be proud of your accomplishment. Cherish this moment. Because under normal circumstances, completing your college education is not easy. But we did not graduate under normal circumstances, did we? In addition to the normal challenges of college, this global pandemic made things a lot tougher. Tough times do not last. Tough people do. And you're tough. You could have quit, but you didn't. We stayed focused. We adapted. And ultimately, we succeeded. Walk tall, Broncos. You're champions today. Because if you got through this, there's nothing you can't get through. And now it's time to transition into your future career with the confidence that you can conquer whatever challenges life brings. You have made us proud. You have made all of us proud. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Cal Poly Pomona graduates. From one proud Bronco to another, my sincerest congratulations on your graduation. Now go out, do great things, and make us all proud.
Thank you for attending our commencement event. Please follow the directions of the parking staff for a safe exit.